What to do, YouTube? I know it's been a while. It's been a few weeks. This is uh, Lucky Channel Two Win G Nation, leader of that one guild, who is not a G3 guild, who is a shitty player, who sucks. We cannot finish G3 for the life of us. We are not a G3 guild. Uh huh? Oh wait, what is this? Oh wait, hold on. What is this? This. Oh, oh, that's, is that three little red, no, shut up, is that three red stars, Timmy, Timmy, Timmy Turner, that's for the haters right there, last three or four weeks we finished G3 with a best rank of 17, big shout out to Scarlet, member of swag, the weakest member of swag, you talk shit, your count sucks, your fastest monster is like 250, I've never seen you out of one gold star, and yet, we are not a progressing G3 guild. Last three or four weeks finishing G3. Hmm. I don't even know what to say. If life gives you lemonades, if life gives you lemons, punch it in the face. I mean, I got a question for y'all. Why do you think bumblebees can fly? By rights and science, they are not technically their wings to their bodies size are not able to fly. Can anyone tell me why on earth bumblebees can fly? I want you to comment below and see if you can answer that question. How come bumblebees can fly? Big shout out to designer from owner of this song, Timmy Turner, uh, using it as the instrumental just in case YouTube decides to, you know, quiet my shit, whatever. Anyways. Big shout out to my haters too, I fucking love y'all, without you all, we are nothing, keep my name in your mouth, and I certainly will appreciate it, G3, last three or four weeks, dropping the mic, anyways, so, this video right here is about Bastit, come to us, decided to take an absolutely great monster, that was an R5 frontline, TOA, I mean, awesome monster i've even used her and shown her before the pvp aspect of her in guild war and even in arena but they took an absolute great monster and turned it into fucking outstandingly epic changed one skill on three from provoking an immunity of herself for two turns to a team wombo fuck up fast monster team defense whatever she can throw a kink in it uh, she is like a beefed up fucking Megan. Love her. I'm going to tell you how to ruin her, how to use her, where to use her, and what to do with her. She is awesome. She is... I mean, I, I can go on and on and on about her, but I want to keep this, uh, keep this short just so you guys can watch it. Tune your monster and continue playing. That's the name of the game of YouTube. Bringing info in the shortest amount of time. Her third skill now is increase the attack by an ally, all allies, not ally, but allies by 25%. Um, she is creating a shield that is equivalent to her, to her level, which can take a lot of damage for three turns, also increasing your attack power. That is awesome. She's a beefed up Megan. Uh, so, really, typically, there's only two rune sets you want her. You want her fast, timed with your team to lessen the gaps. Despair is now obsolete for her. She has one AoE attack, and it's completely obsolete because her first turn, if her AI uses right, is going to be buffing over the attack bar and the and the um and her and the attack. So go ahead and take despair off the table for her. even if you're using TO8, whatever. Just take her off, take despair out of your mind. You do not want to use despair on her. Uh, great offset, obviously, would be Will. Uh, I'm playing around and changing my whole entire count over to Will to compete in Guardian Arena and, of course, in, to stay on top in Guild Wars. Um, I re her Saturday, and I'm absolutely thoroughly impressed with her. I've got her pretty fast. I would like faster, but I'm but I'm happy with this being that she's on Will. She, she's faster than my Nuker, slower than my Griffin. Eliminates a lot of the gap. My Griffin, obviously, is one of the fastest on the server. Not the fastest, and I'm 
grinding every day for the fastest. At 298, I have some room for 300 to 305. My ideal target's 312, so every day you gotta grind for it. But anyways, back to this goddess right here. Bumblebee goddess. Anyways, so, looking at two sets for her, violent or swift. It depends on how fast or how many times you want to use her in one turn. I am playing around with her and removing Galen and replacing it with her. Uh, I elected to go violent, of course, because I use her on Guild War defense now. I want to try to combo her attack buff with her defense break of skill too. If I can get that effectively, say, three out of four matches on that first turn, she basically brings Megan and Galen together with the attack bar buff, the defense break, and the... Um, the shielding and attack bar control. So, that is why I've elected to go violent on her. I bring in Will, obviously, to kind of counter the other speed team so I can at least get her team in or let the enemy burn their Praha skill without her, without the rest of my team being buffed. You know that my teams may, mainly rely heavily on buffs. But, anyway, so, Swift and Violent are the only two sets that you want to use for it. Go ahead and take Despair off. If you have to use Despair and you just specifically use her for TOA, Go ahead, but I'm I'm re recommending you to stay away from despair. Now, for her set, obviously you want slot two to be speed. You want to speed her up unless you can magnificently get her to 180 to 200 speed without slot two, which is kind of hard with, because she's a stat whore. She needs ACC, she needs resistance, she needs speed, she needs defense, she needs hit points. Her attack, whatever. Um, so her... Two, and f two is obviously speed, unless you have a, a fucking outstanding HP or defense rune with, with 20 plus speed on it. But I would recommend, obviously, slot 2 speed. Um, hit points, I mean, excuse me, slot 4, slot 6, it's whatever you have with the best subs. My slot 6 isn't the greatest. I'm farming for another one. I would like a slot 6, 6 star with maybe 15 to 20 speed sub with, of course, ACC as the secondary or third sub in the set. Um, like I said, hit points, defense, whichever combination you can go, you can go HP, HP, you can go defense, defense. I highly recommend to keep away from double defense on her. She'll be susceptible accept to being slaughtered by Lucian on defense. Uh, but if your team is faster, it doesn't matter what Lucian uh, they bring to you. Typically, speed being the primary sub, a HP, defense, okay, you know, try to try to squeeze out like a, dr like a lemon, drop it many drops as you can get out you want to get as much ASP and defense as you can uh, my ACC lacks a little bit but I'm highly against ACC and resistance in many aspects of this game especially PvP the, the game is going to do what it wants to do just like violent being 22% I call bullshit uh, I'm finding her to be at 42 to 50 to 65 ACC I did a little bit of testing I went higher speed lower ACC to be quite effective in what I need it to do uh, I Played around with her being swift. I gave her Cabilla runes and made her about 270. She has a pretty low base speed, but I got I squeezed out, I think, 265 to 270. And just go, knowing that she's only going to get one turn that first round, I wasn't overly impressed. I need, I don't rely on it, but I'd like to have that skill 3, skill 2 combo effect on the first turn. It really makes for Arena to be easier and also obviously TOA. Um, I have not tested her in R5 yet, although I've had people using me as a um, support in that aspect and still saying that she lives through it. I might do some testing here in a little bit. Um, but again, two sets, Swift or Violent. Depending on how you want to time your team, Violent obviously more ideal. If you want to go all balls out to the wall speed team and you can incorporate her with a AoE defense breaker, then go Swift. Um... Typically, Violent 180 to 220 is her speed. You obviously want her faster than your nukers. If you go swift as fast as you want, no less than 240 or uh, let's 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 be easy. No less than 220 on swift. Keeping that in mind, of course, the swift adds 25% uh, as a set hold to your speed. Um, as I said, offset speed slot two is a must. HP defense combination of either or. For four and six obviously your subs go for speed and acc speed and acc speed and acc don't really have to worry about maxing out first one um typically if you use her in pvp you want to max out two three four five 
and six. So there you go, Swift Violent. I'm gonna show you how I use her and I'm starting to incorporate her more in my everyday gameplay. Um, check us out on channel 1313. Of course, Bastide is still usable in TOA, still usable in raids, but now she is bringing a whole new aspect to the um, PvP aspect, Guild War defenses, Guild War offenses, arena defense and offense. I'm seeing her a lot more in Guardian Arena. She's fun, she's great to play with, great combo wombo mon. Um, looking forward to using her and climbing back to the top, regaining a position foothold for T1G. Anyways, check us out on channel 1313. This is the Bastille over review how to use the Queen Bumblebee as I call her. Um, next up, I'm going to show you how I use her in, again, aspects of the game. Alright, this is where I'm going to use her and show you how I use her in <clears throat> Arena. Um, I think I had her on defense. No, I took her off defense. I was playing around. I still haven't found the team that I want to work with her. But I, she is my Guild War. She is my Guild War. Uh, Guild War monster. Defense, let's show her. Uh, I'm sorry, hold on. I... It's, I'm sorry, what was that? Three, three. Oh, oh, those, th those are three bronze stars. Oh, swag, scarlet. You make every bit of sense now. I'm sorry. I thought they were red for some reason. I must be colorblind, you know. I mean, week after week, G3. Jeez, that's, that's, um, <clears throat> that's kind of, that's, that's kind of, um, that's kind of funny, isn't it? I don't, I don't understand. Is that, is that, that's, uh, that's three red, isn't it? I mean, wait a minute. Are we ranked higher than swag? No. Damn, Scarlet, you gotta step your game up. Come over to channel 1313 and I help you re ruin your monsters. How about that? How about that? Keep talking shit. I love it. Keep my name in your mouth. I definitely won't let you down. But anyways, so yes. I uh, recently played with her on Saturday, changed her over, and once I changed her runes over, set her on set her on for round one, this round right here did not lose, and I'm excited to use her this upcoming week, see you know, what I can get from her. Um, I also added a touch more HP and speed to Ritesh, so he gets the AoE de defense break. She fills the gap for Perna to, of course, with the attack buff and the defense break to, you know, do what Perna does best. Wreck shit. But anyway, so let's check out some arena. Um want to want to show what I can do with her. Um let's go Let's play with a different couple combinations. Where are you? So I'm going to bring her with Galen on this aspect. So Theo's going to be my primary damage dealer. Hopefully I don't lose him. Then that would suck. Going to get the jump. Now, this is... I don't... When I bring Galen, I don't really need to use her Womble like that. But I like to bring two nukers such as... Um, such as like Theo and Perna or Theo and Lucian. You know, I like to use look at that. Doesn't that just the damage she just No damage done whatsoever. Work down these uh tanky monsters here. Now I can I've got the double AoE defense break. Forty two percent. I mean that's 42% and I've landed debuffs effectively. I can also break the attack on him. I just she's just fucking awesome She's such a gem to play with it's it's so fun and My health is looking pretty good. I don't have Perna in here But I'm able to withstand a lot of damage that these tanks are bringing Uh, I want to try to get this Ritesh off. Look at that. Don't even break. See, ACC is a crock of shit. Uh, 
All right, looking good. Set it on auto. Um, just effectively took out three tanks and a speed monster that reset skills, and I won. <clears throat> so, I'm pretty impressed with her. Love her skill set. That third, that third skill change, basically, look at this, boom. No damage. No damage. The shield's still up on some monsters. 42 ACC broke three, brought three debuffs. You tell me ACC resistance is a lie. And that was a swag member. Bye-bye. Um, let's see. I want to check out another fast team. I want to counter a fast team. Bring my fast team. See what I can do right here. This is going to be fun. He's got the edge on speed. So let's hopefully, you know, my 298 Bernard will help me go first. And there's no will. Um, I, I do not have a pro high ant for, you know, will teams. I do have... I kill you, but she is timed specifically. There's none. Time specifically for my Guild War teams. So I want to create no gaps right here. Bring my team up to par before. And see, look, I've got the proc. And now she basically does what, and look at that, a triple proc. Look at those debuffs at 42% ACC. I want to work on their main damage dealer and skill resetter. Didn't get the attack break. It was all right. Um... Looking at their attack bar, I really want to take out this Griffin first, so there will be no, you know, no chance to catch up. And then I bring my Izzy. Everybody ask if Izzy's great. You tell me. Over forty thousand damage to zeros. You tell me if Izzy. Izzy is great. Izzy is outstanding. I love you, Izzy. Great. Even if I got another speed lead, I'd probably use her. Bringing her, you know, still would use her only on offense. I would not use her on defense. So there you have it, Bastille with Galen and without Galen. If you get that proc combo, there's just endless possibilities you can do. Keeping face with everybody else that's got speed, like Sierras and Chibus and all that. There it is. I showed you how to effectively use her in an arena. Um, she's still viable in R5. Going to show you that. I'm going to set up and bring it in. All so right, give me a minute. Go. Pause got it. the two top dogs of T1G right here. I got my vice, my two vices of T1G Nation, my two vices of the Elite Guild. These guys grind every day. Wanted to run uh, a YouTube special video on Bastille to show her that she can still do what she does. Gonna bring Dona. My contribution is gonna be low a little bit, but it's more of a tank team, so let's see what we can do. Here we go. Um, before I had her ruined, I had her ruined defense, HP, HP, violent revenge, specifically for R5 frontline. Um, her subs are lacking a little bit, but that's okay. <coughs> Bringing now that I'm, uh, being that I'm now, I'm using her in PvP, so I don't, I, I need to speed her up. I have to sacrifice some of her monster stats, and I'm okay with that. I hate the spamming of just spam shield, spam heal, spam tack bar boost. That's crazy. Look at that. Fully healed team. Just everybody burns their skills. I need to fix the AI for this. And she's still a debuffing monster. Look at her. Just debuffing like crazy. Look at the shield. Look at the shield. Look at the shield. No damage. No damage. Again, giving props to designer, the maker of Timmy Turner's song. Hopefully YouTube doesn't block this video or the, mute the sound because I'm using the instrumental behind it. A lot of people have been talking about Humps. Water Chesun. He's done an excellent job on Bill. 188 speed. Look at the attack. Uh, beautiful. Even's got 58% resistance. Um, done a really good job building her Hump. You pr uh, provided a lot of hope and guidance to a lot of our younger 
newer members. A lot of people are talking about you throughout the line groups, man. Appreciate it. Keep up the good work and the good builds. You definitely, definitely handling the shoes of Vice of the Nation very well, and I appreciate you. You too, Ed. You're you're the you're the calm the calm one to sometimes my rage. I appreciate you. You're doing an absolute wonder job. I couldn't pick a better better person for. I could not pick a better person for for second in charge, man. You filled Trevor's shoes pretty well, man. I appreciate you. Uh, you're doing a wonderful job. Keep up the good work. I love these two guys to death. And also, cannot forget Marine. Big shout out to Marine. She is doing an absolute wonderful job. She's the recruiter liaison, third in charge of the nation. She's absolutely amazing. She's a gem. She manages her home life and and just making sure that everything is taken care of throughout our members coming in switching recruiting everything man we love y'all marine ed and hump you guys make a great team and she seems to be doing well she's taking a beating but it's okay uh, i've got one two three one two three healers two Two cleansers, so everything's looking good. Oh, we got the shield on the jump, too. Let's see what we got here. Shield, 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 shield. How much damage did I take? Very little. Look at that. Bastille, Bumblebee, you're amazing. You are amazing. Bumblebee, you can do anything you put your mind to. Build her. Use her. Thank you, come to us. Anyways, again... If you can answer, how come bubble bees can fly? Please post it in comments below. Love to start a discussion on that. And here you have it. I know I have a low contribution, but I, I didn't bring Hua. I brought my Dona. Uh, and we're able to complete R5 with her. There it is. So now I've taken a monster and used her both in Guild War Arena as also R5. That is the name of the game. Using your PvP builds in the PvP aspect of this game. You can do it. I got faith in you. I love y'all. T1G Nation for life. Please keep talking shit about us. We will not let you down. And we are here to prove you wrong. We are here to build family. We are here to take over. Alright, appreciate it, Hump. E. Davids. Check us out in channel 1313. Oh, beautiful. I will take it. Thank you. Anyways, love y'all. Check us out on YouTube, T1G Lucky 1313. Comment, like, post. Stay true to yourself. I think I'll keep that. Should I sell it? Nah, I'll keep it. I'll keep it. Alright, love y'all.